Everyone knows that running is good for you, be it a casual jog or a marathon, running is one of the best ways to stay in shape, and people have been doing it for millions of years, whether to hunt, flee, or populate the globe. Humans have adapted to become one of the greatest distance runners on the planet. We have better ventilation than most mammals because we sweat and have less hair to retain heat. At least, most of us do. Four-leggeds are great for speed, but the physics of their body force them to inhale as their lungs expand and exhale when they contract with each stride, making them tire quickly. However, our upright posture allows us to breathe freely and run greater distances. In the annual Man vs. Horse Marathon, Brave souls race against horses in a 22-mile course, and in 2004 and 2007, humans actually won. Still, our greatest adaption for running is our own feet, which were adapted to run millions of years before Nike came around. When running barefoot, a person will land on their midfoot and propel themselves forward with a quick kickback. This is considered the more natural way to run. But this isn't the case for the normal American runner. Normal runners typically have a heel strike pattern, mm -hmm. and then we pronate through the foot. There's a lot of shock that's taken through the leg, through the body, especially through the knee, and you can end up with a lot of knee problems or calcaneal uh, heel fractures, that sort of thing, plantar fasciitis. When you do a midfoot strike, you're lessening that um, shock. But if you get too far towards the front of the foot and you're putting the excessive strain on the front of the foot, you can end up with stress fractures. But there is a happy medium. Pseudo running style shoes like the Nike Free and New Balance 800 attempt to maintain barefoot form while still protecting your feet. The difference in the shoes, this is a traditional athletic shoe um, and the things that we look for are typically where the shoe flexes, we want it to bend up in the forefoot where the foot naturally bends and also to have nice stability or torsional control. The barefoot style running shoe bends throughout the entire shoe and it has very little torsional control. That again causes the intrinsic muscles to have to work very hard. Um, I think that having a barefoot style shoe uh, and running shod with that shoe is uh, probably better than actual barefoot running because you'll prevent some of the injuries uh, like lacerations, infections, that sort of thing. We asked some local runners what they knew about barefoot running. Have you ever heard of barefoot or evolution running? No. No. Uh, no, I haven't. I've heard of barefoot running, but I've never done it. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> what do you know about it? Um, it improves your form, and it's good for your feet and calves. It's one of my cross country coaches showed me. No. Never heard of it? Oh, well, barefoot, like, they say that now running barefoot is better for you. Is that what that's about, or no? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, like, they say without the shoe and not having like the confinements and whatnot and like the arches of your foot, it's actually better for you to run barefoot than with shoes, right? That's the answer we were looking for. Whether you keep your shoes on or not, the most important thing is your form and not your shoes. Keep your back straight, shoulders relaxed, elbows at roughly 90 degrees, and bend your knees and kick back towards your butt. And hey, why not give barefoot running a try? Would you ever try running barefoot if you thought it helped you? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. I would. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, like barefoot running? Totally. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how'd that feel? It felt great. It felt great. <laughs>